is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 toyota prius courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because you guys know gas prices have been getting pretty darn high it's hitting all-time highs basically everywhere and the prius is an insanely fuel efficient vehicle topping out at over 50 miles miles per gallon and you also get all-wheel drive availability as well for the Prius which I think some people still don't realize which is pretty cool new trim level for 2022 as well and actually we have that new trim level so another good thing today also you get two years or 25,000 miles of complimentary maintenance as well for any new Toyota at that matter and so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are actually several different trim levels for the 2022 Prius there is the L Eco for $24,625 LE for $25,835 LE all-wheel drive E for $27,235 XLE for $28,845 XLE all-wheel drive E for $29,675 Nightshade Edition which is the new trim level for the 2022 Prius that one starts at $29,545 Nightshade Edition all-wheel drive the one we have today starting at 30,675 and lastly the limited starting at $32,920 so quite a bit of options there really allowing you to make the car your own essentially with all of those trim levels but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on the Prius is going to be the same powering this little beast is a 1.8 liter four-cylinder hybrid engine putting out 121 horsepower 120 pound-feet of torque power sent to front wheels or all wheels through a CVT 0 to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 10.8 seconds we'll be testing that out here in a little bit MPG numbers though it's going to differ slightly depending upon the trim level for example that L Eco trim is going to give you the best MPGs coming in at 58 in the city 53 in the highway all-wheel drive models 51 in the city 47 highway and then the front wheel drive models will be 50 54 in the city, 50 then on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel. But said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our Prius, I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. Drive mode button is located directly to the right of the shifter there. Those drive modes will include eco, normal, power mode, and EV, adjusting things like the throttle response, the climate control settings, and of course with that EV mode, you actually get 1.2 miles of pure electric driving when you're fully charged at least. So I wanted to mention how that worked as well. But now having got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and put the Prius here to the test. Let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 Toyota Prius here up to speed. All right, three, two, one, go. Huh, I like the digital gauges. I'm watching that, it's kind of cool. It's actually not bad. It doesn't really feel like zero to 60 and 10.8, which on paper is extremely slow if I'm being honest, but it does feel quicker than that. Honestly, you shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway. That was a, a decent acceleration. I guess I'm saying it because it was more of an acceleration that I expected the Prius to put out because of course this car is known for being historically slow. So it wasn't that bad quite honestly, but anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 10-inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 10.2-inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that's going to come in at 125 feet. As far as the braking feel goes, eh, it's a little wonky. So electric vehicles, a lot of times, and even hybrids, will have a little bit different of a braking feel. And this one definitely falls into that category. It's just a little bit softer of a braking feel. There's a little bit of a delay when you first hit the brakes, and it just feels a little bit unnatural, if I'm being quite honest. It doesn't feel like, I guess, the standard brake setup that you're used to. I'm sure it's something that you would get used to over time, but it doesn't feel like a natural braking feel. I'll just put it that way. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling, up front, you're going to get an independent McPherson strut front suspension. In the back, multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, it's been perfectly fine, quite honestly, in my short little test drive here on these super nice Hagerstown, Maryland roads. But I will say that, definitely no issues when it comes to ride quality. As far as steering feel goes, it does tend to lean a little bit on the looser side of things, as expected in a vehicle like the Prius. So it is just what it is there. As far as cabin noise goes, I am going 51 miles per hour right now. Now, there's 
a little bit of wind noise, but honestly, it's pretty much like any other compact car out there. It's comparable to maybe a Civic or a Corolla. As far as engine noise, wind noise, and road noise goes, it pretty much falls into the same category as all of them. Then touching on visibility, because of that center bar going across the, uh, the hatch portion of the back end there, it is impeded slightly because of that. But honestly, again, it's one of those things I'm sure you would get used to over time. Rain sensing windshield wipers actually are available on the XLE trim level and up. So if you wanted those automatic windshield wipers whenever the vehicle detects any kind of mist or rainfall, that is how you're gonna go ahead and get that. And there's actually a head-up display that is going to come with the limited trim level only. So if you wanted that, that's how you're gonna go ahead and get it. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Toyota Prius. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Toyota Prius. And so let me start with the nightshade model colors since the nightshade is the new trim level. There's gonna be silver, super white, which is the one we have today, and midnight black then as well, if you were to go with one of those nightshade additions. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on the Prius here. Black badging and headlight accents, of course, with the nightshade trim level. Full LED headlights though, coming standard with every single trim level across the board. That's definitely nice. That comes with LED daytime running lights the automatic feature and actually automatic high beams as well meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams then when that vehicle is gone it's automatically then going to bump it back up to high beams so definitely a nice convenient little feature there integrated fog lights down below you guys can see them with led accent lights coming with the xle trim level and up in case you're wondering what those led accent lights were that's what you're going to be looking at towards the sides where you would typically find front air curtains those are going to be where the accent lights are so that's pretty cool i like that look also if you were to go with the limited trim level you will get an adaptive front lighting system meaning when you're going around a bend at night those headlights are going to swivel dependent upon the steering angle so it's going to be kind of a safety feature in itself so you're less likely to hit a deer or any other kind of animal also active grill shutters do come standard on all trim levels across the board then as well but but it rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the prius all right and so but now since we are around to the side there are black window surrounds coming standard for all trims you guys can see there is a floating roof line towards the back end of the prius then as well of course black accents since we have the nightshade edition but traditionally you're going to get body colored door handles and things like that if you go with any other trim level but the nightshade when it comes to those side mirrors they are body colored traditionally and they are power adjustable of course as well heated side mirrors do come standard power folding side mirrors coming standard definitely did the side mirrors right here in the prius of course you got that hybrid badging it's going to be silver or black depending upon the trim level found on the front fenders there then taking a look at the wheel configuration 15 inch alloys with covers for the l eco and the l e trims 17 inch five spoke alloys with the titanium finish then coming with the xle and limited trim and then 15 inch black alloys then for the nightshade that you're currently looking at of course but pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back we do have that gloss black shark fin antenna all the way to the top because we have the nightshade again otherwise it is going to be body colored of course do you kind of have an integrated rear spoiler i guess kind of breaking up the window there with the led stop lamp of course in the middle and by the way led tail lights then to the sides do come standard for all trim levels across the board for added illumination at night gotta love that hybrid badging once again found on that rear hatchback there you got the blue accents on the toyota logo because of course toyota puts the blue accents on all of their hybrid vehicles and just below it all then you will find a single exhaust outlet tucked away kind of but not really Anyways, as always, I think you guys know what we have to do next. Here is that exhaust clip. All right, and so but now since we are around to the back of that hatch, when it comes to opening it, there is a button actually on the hatch itself. So simply just press that and lift up. That's how you're gonna go ahead and open that one up. But cargo capacity is going to come in at 27.4 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that then up to 50.7 cubic feet. And there's actually a good bit going on in the cargo area. You will actually get cargo lighting, of course, but you also get grocery bag hooks on both sides, which I was surprised to see you get cargo tie down anchors as well. So these features typically you see in SUVs, but not so much 
cars. So that was pretty cool to see those. You actually get a cargo cover back there as well, which makes sense since it is a hatchback. So wasn't surprised to see that. If you lift up underneath of the cargo floor though, you're actually going to find a fix a flat kit and then a good bit of in-floor storage actually as well. Kind of compartmentalized. You could put an ice scraper back there or something like that possibly. Then making our way up to the rear leg room, that is going to come in at 33.4 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. There is no rear ventilation back there. However, there is a rear center armrest with cup holders coming standard for all trim levels across the board. You can actually get two USB charging ports for those rear passengers as well so they can stay connected, which definitely a good idea. But then making our way up to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the L Eco and LE trims, soft text upholstery then coming with all the other trims, essentially the XLE trim level and up. That's gonna come with eight way power driver's seat with power lumbar those seats will be heated however i will say the nightshade edition actually has manually adjustable seats so that is what we have today although we do have the soft text finish but as far as seat comfort goes it's okay honestly it's just okay because there is no power lumbar in this particular configuration on the nightshade but you can get it on the other trims like i was saying but it's just okay as far as seat comfort goes but then making our way to the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped and it will be heated then for the xle trim level end up and that heated steering wheel button is actually located on the right side of the steering wheel itself i can see that there then make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your traditional toyota key but you do have that prius lettering on the one side then when you flip it over just lock and unlock but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that blue engine start button located just by the driver's right knee. And so once started up, the gauge cluster is not located directly in front of the driver, but more so towards the middle of everything. So you do have a fairly large digital readout all the way to the left. And honestly, from my short driving experience, I had no problems reading that while actually keeping my eyes on the road. So was kind of hesitant, thinking since it's a little bit different, instead of me looking directly forward a little bit to the right, was it gonna be a problem? But it really wasn't, so no issues there. You also have your charging indicator just to the right of that, and essentially all of your other buttons all the way to the right, basically everything you could possibly want. But so then making our way to overall interior quality, there will be a power moon roof is gonna be optional for the XLE trim level. Auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls coming with the XLE trim level and up. And we have that for up to three different garage doors. That's pretty cool. Overhead sunglass holder can be found up top there as well. You will get a wireless phone charger located just below the shifter for uh, XLE trim level and up if you wanted to do that. You got your heated seat buttons just behind that wireless phone charger, dual cup holders, and then within the center armrest. Not quite as deep of storage as I thought there was going to be, but it'll get the job done. Overall, it's a pretty basic interior quality if I'm being honest, but one thing I really, really like is the Prius lettering found on the little knobs on the air vents. That is one thing I wasn't expecting and it's all about the attention to detail with me. So I absolutely love that. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen, seven inch color touchscreen display coming with the L Eco, LE, XLE and nightshade trim levels. And that's of course what we have today. However, there is an 11.6 inch color touchscreen display coming with the limited trim level. Either way, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming. You still get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Factory navigation system though, that's gonna be left for the 11.6 inch screen if you wanted that. There's actually a nice little eco indicator screen that can be had up there as well. And of course your radio information. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, six speakers are going to come standard on all trims, but the limited, that limited trim is gonna give you a 10 speaker JBL sound system with an external amp by the way. But again, that's not the one we have today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this six speaker your sound system. It's okay. It's a six speaker sound system. There's actually a decent amount of bass though. I will say that for a six speaker sound system. So I'll give it that. But if you wanted a better sound system, obviously go with the limited trim level. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you put this thing in reverse, not only will you get this noise that you might or might not be currently hearing through the mic here, because this is a hybrid vehicle. So when you're in reverse, the engine isn't on and it wants people to know that you're in reverse. But as always, that is going to give you a rear view camera, letting you know who or what is behind you. So 
What do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and make our way into safety now. That's so the first thing I want to mention. The Prius is not an IIHS top safety pick, unfortunately. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system. But also coming standard, a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, full speed dynamic radar cruise control, and road sign assist then as well and then if you were to go with the le trim level and up that is going to add to that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the prius great fuel economy i also love that all-wheel drive can be had with this which is a huge deal because typically if you have great fuel economy you don't also have all-wheel drive and if you have to commute to work in the snow all-wheel drive is almost a necessity leds all the way around i love that as well added illumination at night is definitely a good thing because there are several cars that still give you halogens these days as far as room for improvement goes honestly i was thinking i was going to say that it's a bit slow and it kind of is but then again you kind of expect that and it is plenty to merge you onto the highway so i'm not even going to count that anymore but it's not an IIHS top safety pick, so that is gonna be one thing I think they need to work on. And the other thing I was just thinking about, you can get the Toyota Corolla Hybrid with essentially the same MPGs for a lesser price. So if you wanted to save some money up front, you still wanted kind of the same MPGs, the Corolla Hybrid is definitely then an option as well. But that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in a new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all i do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold